Okay, so you have uh, got the UI package uh, imported. Now to import it's this one's very, very simple. There's basically just one rule, and that is you need to, uh, before importing the UI uh, package, you need to import either one of these three, the basic, the melee, or the shooter, uh, depending on which one you've purchased. Uh, but be sure that you import that prior to the UI package, as many of these features rely on uh, some of the scripts that are written in here. So with this uh, imported, and, and if you need, you know, a little example, you could say import custom package, you know, simply import it, and uh, it'll generate this directory here. Um, now let's talk about some of the things in the directory structure. Now, right now, this is a uh, basically a very early release uh, of this, but uh, inside the editor, this is where all the automation might live. Right now, there's just a version directory, which uh, tells you the version that this package is. Uh, and then inside the images, these are all the images that will be used as part of this uh, UI package. Um, you can also obviously take advantage of these images to your own needs. Uh, but the thing that's going to be most valuable to you uh, as you're getting started and learning about this package, and I'll be getting into more detail in some future videos, is the pre-built prefabs. In the pre-built prefabs, I've, I've separated it uh, in hopefully a logical way. Uh, but in the menus here, these are basically uh, UI menus uh, that you could use prior to joining a, ga a game or kind of like a pause menu or, or things like that. But if we hop in there, uh, this simple selection menu combines these two other elements. Um, and I'll be getting into that later in a future video. And then these in-game menus. So um, anything that might hover over a player would be in here. Anything that is part of the game and will be like some sort of a side menu would be in here. And, and again, you can uh, have a look at what is built into these. Um, but again, I'll be going over all of these individually in a, in a future video. And then the scripts, these are all the raw scripts that are actually used within uh, all of these um, pre-built prefabs. So everything that has to do with the menus are in here, the in-game UIs for those side menus and things like that. These helper classes are, are usually um, used by one or both uh, of the these and then generics, these are things that you could take advantage of in a very generic way. Um, you know, if you want to tie things into uh, client based events, uh, server based events, uh, if you want a, a text replacer, um, uh, client connection based events, and then if you want to destroy a certain object at a certain uh, a given interval. Uh, but that is the quick overview of what this package currently has to offer. Now we'll go into further detail in how to use uh, some of these prefabs.